tau overflows control and relaxation when you are in sex act mind starts thinking about how to finish it it is always ahead of you do not allow it just play and forget about any sex act it will happen then allow it just to happen then it will be easy to relax and when it happens just relax be together be in each other's presence and feel happy and blissful for this togetherness life is total transcendence beyond duality a balance between opposites equanimity amid sphere of opposites one who is really religious in him opposites meet merge and neutralize one another religiosity is illumination beyond duality like a river he flows between two shores just as river is neither near shore nor far shore both shores create a bed between them which is known as river bed the river flows through this bed the two shores are not contradictory both support one another there is a kind of a gravitational pull or magnetic pull between the two so too with a religious real religious mind and theism and atheism exist in harmony he is balanced between the two religiosity is harmony balance atheist is incomplete so is theist one who lives out of inner harmony or balance has known the truth control and relaxation are diametrically opposite to one another control is a different thing and relaxation is totally different in sex you are relaxing in it not controlling it if you are controlling it there will not be relaxation if you are controlling it sooner or later you will be hurried to finish it because control is a strain and every strain creates tension and tension creates a necessity a need to release this applies even to anger the more you try to control anger there is tension and need arises to release the energy and we express ourselves verbally and through gestures this it is not control you are not resisting something you are simply not in a hurry because sex is not happening in order to move somewhere you are not going somewhere it is just a play no competition there is no goal nothing is to be reached so why be in hurry but a man who is always in every act present totally as long as ego is there your presence is a must and if you are hurried in everything you will be hurried even in your sex act because you will be there a person who is very much time conscious will be hurried in his sex act as well as if time is being wasted so we ask for instant coffee and for instant sex with coffee 
it is good. However, with sex, it is simply nonsense. There can be no instant sex and it is not work and it is not something which you can hurry. Through hurry, you will destroy it and you will miss the very point. Enjoy it because through it one attains to timelessness or feels timelessness. If you are in a hurry, then timelessness cannot be felt. Tantra says go unhurriedly, slowly enjoying it as if you are going for a walk in the morning not as if you are going to work. That is a different thing. When you are going to the office, you are in a hurry to reach somewhere. And when you are on a walk in the morning, you are not in a hurry because you are not going anywhere. You are simply going. There is no hurry. There is no goal. You can return from any point. This unhurriedness is the basis to create valley experience. Otherwise, the peak will be created. And when it is said, it does not mean that you have to control. You are not to control your excitement because that is contradictory. You cannot control excitement. If you control it, you are creating a double excitement. Just relax. Take it as a play. Do not make it make any end. The, the beginning is enough. In the act, close your eyes. Feel the other's body. Feel the other's energy flowing towards you and be merged in it. Melt in it. It will come. The old habit may persist for a few days and then it will go. But do not force it to go. Just go on relaxing, relaxing and relaxing. And if there is any release of the energy, do not feel that something has gone wrong. A man who feels that something has gone wrong if there is no ejaculation. He tends to feel that something has gone wrong. Nothing has gone wrong really. And do not feel that you have missed something. Certainly you have not missed. In the beginning it will be felt as if you are missing something. Because the excitement and the peak will not be there. Before the valley experience comes, you will feel that you are missing something. But this is just an old habit. Within a period of one month or three weeks, the valley will start appearing. And when the valley appears, you will forget your peaks. No peak is worth it. But you have to wait and do not force it, do not control it, just relax. Relaxation is a problem because when we say relax, in the mind it is translated as if something has to be done. Our language gives this appearance. I was reading a book, the book entitled you must relax. You must. The very word must will not allow you to relax because when it becomes a goal, you must and if you are not able, you will feel frustrated. The very word must gives you a feeling of hard effort, of an arduous journey. You cannot relax if you are thinking in terms of must. Language is a problem. There are certain things which language always expresses wrongly. For example, relaxation. 
If I say to relax, then too it becomes an effort and you will immediately ask how to relax. Give me the word, with the word how, you miss the point. You cannot ask how. Then you are asking for a technique and technique will create an effort. And effort will create tension. So if you ask me to how to relax, I say do not do anything, just relax. Just be, lie down and wait. Do not do anything. All that you can do will be a barrier and it will create a hindrance. If you start counting from 1 to 100 and back from 100 to 1, you will remain awake whole night. And if something you have fallen and if sometimes you have fallen asleep because of counting, it is not because of counting, it is because you counted and counted and then boredom came into. Because of that boredom, you fall asleep. It is not because of counting, the instant it is because of the boredom and then you forget counting and then sleep comes, but sleep comes, relaxation comes only when you are not doing anything. This you have to understand clearly. When I say sex act, it looks that you need an effort. Do not, you do not just start playing with your beloved or your lover and go on playing. Feel each other, be sensitive to each other, just like small children playing or just like dogs playing or animals playing. Just go on playing and do not think about anything. It may happen. It may not happen. If it, is, if it happens through just playing, it will lead you to the valley experience very easily and if you think about it then you are already ahead of yourself and you are playing with your beloved but you are thinking of the sex act then the playing is false and you are not here the mind is in the future and the mind will always move to the future when you are in sex act mind is thinking about how to finish it Negatively, something can be done. For example, when you get excited, you breathe fast because excitement needs fast breathing. For relaxation, it is good, helpful. If you breathe deeply, not fast, but slow, breathing very easily, being at ease, then the sex act can be prolonged. Do not talk or say anything because that creates disturbance. Do not use the mind, only, it, only use the bodies. Use mind only to feel what is happening. Do not think, just feel what is happening. The warmth that is flowing, the love that is flowing, the energy that is that it encounters, just feel, be aware. That too should not be made a strain, F float effortlessly, then only the valley will appear. Once the valley appears, you are transcended. Once you feel and realize the valley, the relaxed orgasm, it is already a transcendence, then Sex is not there. It has become a meditation, a state of samadhi. Enough for now.